Get on the other side of it, you can't. Oh. Me. Roll this down. Roll anytime you're ready. Life is like a train. In the beginning, it, it's easy. It gets going faster and faster and heavier. And then the mass inertia, you can't slow it down. And you look back and say, my God, what did I do? If they knew they were making history, they would have paid more attention. As you go through life and get older, you realize that you need to spend more time enjoying what you're going through. And I think that's what this whole treasure means. It was all about speed and adventure, trying to beat something they didn't fully comprehend. Baja to me is a frontier, an unbelievable frontier. It isn't at all what people expect. Once you come to Baja, you get addicted to this place. I did know a little bit about Baja, but I had no concept of what driving nonstop a thousand miles represented. Countless men and women would follow their tracks down Baja's 1,200-mile trail of freedom in a race called the Nora Mexican 1000. We just wanted to do something different, and that's what it's about. It was all about the sport, it was all about the fun, and it turned into a race. Together, they forged an exclusive brotherhood, a special society they'd soon share with the world. I do everything I can to tell people about Ba, and I know those guys have done the same because we hear those stories and we want to go live that adventure. It wasn't just a race. There was an emotion. There was an excitement attached to that. And those stories have been kept in secrets and in their own minds. And you only really relive it when you're driving the Ba Peninsula and you're out there by yourself. Now the past reunites with the present through the eyes of the men themselves and newly discovered historical footage not seen since 1968. They include Bruce Myers, inventor of the dune buggy, inaugural Mexican 1000 winner, Vic Wilson, 21-time Baja champion, the legend, Walker Evans, and racing icon, Malcolm Smith, teaming with his son for the first time. This Baja racing is something I hope lives on forever because it, it instills something in you, a passion, a joy, an adventure. Do other things outside of your norm. The guys that really made Baja what it is today, they laid a trail for us all to follow. I want to follow within their footsteps. Four decades later, they returned to rediscover their spiritual home. Some for the very last time. To see these guys come out and their whole lives were wrapped around Baja. It's our responsibility to carry on the stories and to carry on the legend and to keep the Mexican 1000 alive. It's time for the younger generation now to write their own story. Now experience a new film that takes you on the adventure of a lifetime because it's never too late to make history of your own.